Retired but not tired, Francie Markham spent a year filling this 2,000 square foot warehouse in Columbia, South Carolina. Donated computers, desks, blackboards, textbooks, and a host of supplies are stacked six to eight feet high in places, bound for a careworn school and community in Zimbabwe. A sharpened pencil is a great hope when someone doesn't have one. United Methodist Church workers will distribute the shipment, but first, this maze of supplies must be boxed, cataloged, and packed on pallets to travel almost 9,000 miles. Nothing ships if it's not ship shape. I need an army to help me pack. Francie's troops arrive in sneakers and school vans. You will end up making their, the quality of their life better for each box that you're packing. Look at all this stuff. 30 students break into groups, wrapping furniture, boxing physics books, and appreciating simple things taken for granted. It like bring tears because they don't have clothes, they don't have food, and that we can, you know, help them because they're struggling. Ashley organizes sanitary supplies for female students, supplies that are unavailable. It's just taking a woman's pride away from her. That should not be taken away. Yeah, right there. Today, Francie's students linked hands with students on the other side of the world. What you're doing is an enormous, enormous service. Francie will make another trip to see the supplies put to use in Africa. We can't just leave them and say, oh, well, too bad. We have to dream for them while we're here. 